Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip and it's time to take another dive into my EDC kit and today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of this little device right here and this is the Tech or TEC Accessories Pocket Magnifier. This is a little metal case with a magnifying glass built into it. I wanted to keep a magnifier with me because sometimes the instructions on like medication bottles and those little teeny pieces of paper they're putting out as an instruction manual for products that you buy are so small that my old eyes can't read it. So I wanted to carry a magnifier with me and I decided to go with this. Now, a lot of people will say, well, do they make these little Fresnel lenses and they're very, very cheap. You can get like 10 of them for like $12 when you buy them in bulk on Amazon and use that. A couple of problems I saw with that. This is a representation of the size of one of those. I just cut it out of some cardstock. And yes, it would physically fit inside of my kit. But I have two problems with that. Actually, several. First off, those are plastic. So they're going to be rubbing against all this stuff in here no matter where I place it. Even if I slid it in back in here with all of this large good, it's going to be sitting in between here, it's in my pocket, it's moving around, and I could just see that plastic getting just scratched all to heck just sitting in my kit. And although they're cheap, and yeah, you can just, once you get a, one scratched up, you throw it away, you get another one put in there, that's just a maintenance issue. I want to put something in here and know when I pull it out, it's going to work as good as it was the day I bought it. I don't want to have to constantly recycle everything just to use a product. So I decided to go with this Tech Accessories Pocket Magnifier. This is available in two versions, aluminum and titanium. The aluminum version is $90 and it's available in six different colors, red, green, blue, rose, copper, everything like that. I opted for the titanium version, which is $130. A lot of people are going to balk at that price. But my thinking is, I'm at the stage of my life where I've worked hard all my life, I can afford nice little things like this, so I'm going to buy it. If you want to go with one of those Fresnel lenses, that's fine. But this is a review of the Tech Accessories Pocket Magnifier. The dimensions on this, it's a little over 2 and 3 quarter inches tall, 1 inches wide, and the body is exactly a quarter inch thick. It has a little knob here that activates the lens. And that protrudes out a little bit, but it's minimal, so I'm not going to include that in the dimensions. My particular model, the titanium one, weighs about 1.7 ounces or 33.3 grams. And all this really is is a metal case with a slider in it with the magnifier inside of that slider so you can magnify things. To be able to read them. It's deceptively simple, but I like the idea that this metal case, this in this case titanium, this case is protecting that lens, as opposed to the Fresnel lens, which would be out in the open. Yes, you can get a case for it, but still, I'm back to getting dirt and grime and gre debris in there and scratching that lens. Now, this is not just a plastic slider inside of a case. You can't see it, but right here in the middle is a magnet built into this case. And what they've done is, on the bottom side of this plastic slider that holds the lens, on this bottom side, there is a piece of metal embedded in this plastic. So when it is open, there's the magnet right there at the tip of the screwdriver. There is a piece of metal on the bottom side of this plastic that holds this open so in case you're reading like this, it's not going to slide closed on you. Conversely, there's a matching piece of metal right here on this plastic slider, which would be out here when you open it, and that holds it closed so it doesn't slide out when you're carrying it like on a keychain, which is what this is designed to do, is carry it on a keychain, but I keep it in my EDC kit. So there is a little bit of resistance here. And there's a little bit of resistance here, but in the middle it just kind of, it floats back and forth as easy as you would expect it to. Because it's right between those two pieces of steel and 
the magnetic field is kind of canceled out, being pulled both ways. But there is a definite snap to having it shut, and there is a definite snap when it opens. So that is a very, very nice feature to be able to not have to worry about this sliding open when you want it closed or sliding closed when you want it open. On the other side of that, it can be used as a magnet to pick things up, as well as you can use that magnet to stick it on your refrigerator or if you have a work truck without a headliner and you're just looking at the bare roof, you can pop that on the, the roof of your vehicle. There's a lot of different ways you can utilize that magnet. How well does it work? It works good enough for me. Again, people are going to balk at the $130 price. If that's not for everybody, but it's one of those neat little gadgets that I found was very, very handy, very, very simple to use, and exceedingly simple design. I love the form factor, and gray doesn't bother me. I don't mind number 59 gray, and it slides right into my EDC kit without any problem. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.